how did things go today? It's all right. You know, I mean, obviously, the day before the game, we just went to, you know, work a little bit, look at, uh, at what our lineup's going to look like for tomorrow, uh, you know, followed up with guys in terms of how guys are recovering from, uh, you know, the stress and so forth of the game. And, uh, you know, we feel pretty good. How's Ford looking for being able to make a bench appearance? Uh, you know, I mean, he's he's a healthy one, so he's got to go onto the bench. But he's been he's been full in training now for the last two, three weeks. You know, three weeks about, and uh, you know he's looked good. Tommy's been happy with him. The only thing he hasn't obviously doesn't have his games uh, at this point. But his training's been very, very sharp. Did you learn more about Weber's strain? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, no, it's a strained uh, whatever muscle muscle. Randy has a fancy name for it. Uh, I think it's the groin muscle. Uh, so it, it's something that, you know, he generally recovers from injuries fairly well, but it, it all depends how, how his recovery goes. It's probably uh, anywhere from from 10 days, two weeks, to maybe a max of four weeks. But, you know, he's usually at the, at the lower end of that scale. Looking at, I don't know if MLS soccer save of the week nominees mean anything, but you guys haven't had any this year. I think they missed one in Brian Meredith in Dallas. but. Has that been something you noticed? I mean, maybe goalkeepers not coming up when you maybe need it. Nah, I haven't really noticed it. I mean, we generally, uh, I don't know how many shots we've given up. You know, we generally haven't given up a lot of shots. I mean, there's not a, uh, yeah, there's some opportunities where goalkeepers can come up with some big saves for us. But a lot of times we really haven't been in that position to come up with some big saves. You know, if a goalkeeper is coming up with save of the week all the time for your team, that means the other team's getting shot of the week, too, and that doesn't score. So... Would there be something poetic about being able to start this turnaround against the same team that you uh, kind of started the slide? Sometimes that's the way streaks go. Uh, you know, I remember when I was coaching at UCLA, we had a uh, we had a 39 game unbeaten streak, and uh, it started with Fresno State and it ended with Fresno State. You know, when you look at you know you know UCLA basketball, I think had Notre Dame and Notre Dame on both ends of theirs. Uh, you know, so sometimes it seems that's just the way streaks go. You know, that uh, a lot of times the team it starts with is the team it ends with. Brian had those big chunk of games right in a row. Can it be good for him to maybe get a few games of rest before he gets to these next starts? Well, you know, I mean, it's uh, you know, it's a it's a big moment for him right now. It's uh, it's a moment where you know he had the opportunity to start and he did very well, and then uh, the performances maybe weren't as strong. And uh, now, you know, through, uh, through an injury, he has another opportunity. And, you know, now it's a matter of how much has he learned from his first experience, his first go around. And, and uh, you know, is his attitude going to be, hey, I'm going to hold on to this thing. I'm not letting it go again. How would you uh, characterize Servando Carrasco's kind of place on this team at this point? Uh, I mean, Servando's still an important player to us. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the early in the season, he didn't get off to the best start. You know, he... But I think as of late, I think he's played fairly well. I thought he had a good game in San Jose uh, in the Open Cup match. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's come on and, and played some decent minutes for us as of late. And he's, he's looked very sharp at practice as well. It seems like it happened weeks ago, but the actions have been kind of interesting. To that. So can you just explain what happened with Christian Siebenbeck and maybe what went wrong with that? It just, you know, it just didn't work out. Uh, you know, from a standpoint of uh, early on, he got some minutes, but he missed a lot of preseason with little niggling injuries and so forth. That set him back. Got some opportunities in games early on that he didn't take advantage of. Um, you know, and then just uh, overall, you know, there were guys that we thought had pushed past him uh, in terms of what we saw at training. So sometimes, for, for whatever reason, uh, things don't work out. The timing was wrong, and uh, it was just a decision that we felt was uh, best in his interest and, and our interest at the time. Anything else? Give your full 90 with the Sounders FC mobile app featuring live audio, match day blog and much more to keep you connected. Download your app at soundersfc.com mobile.